Hi, today I'm going to talk about the... I said and what is wrong with... Of course, secure, contain, protect. That is the official motto of the SCP Foundation. And what they uh, do is they uh, have quite a bunch of anomalies in their library. And the anomalies are, first of all, secured against. Uh, external threats they contain the anomalies for scientific research and they protect uh, human society and normalcy against the anomalies so that is in short what the SCP Foundation does uh, yeah among in the entire world of course the, uh, SCP Foundation, as we can see through the secure facilities, they operate all the way from the US in uh, Loran, France. They have one, and in uh, let's have a look, uh, India, uh, Canada, Australia. That's a size 45. Uh, Germany, Leipzig, that is size 54. And uh, there are so many of the SCP uh, sites, all of which have several anomalies, which are classified uh, uh, under a specific object class uh, so that the SCP Foundation knows what they're dealing with. Some of these anomalies are actually pretty easily contained or even helpful and others are capable, capable t of ending the world altogether so let's start so there, initially there were only three object classes safe which are anomalies that are safely contained Euclid which requires a bit more resources and Keter which used to be the most dangerous uh, there are also a lot of esoteric of our classes that weren't that mainstream in the beginning but three are currently added Thaumiel which is an anomaly that the foundation could use or sometimes even uses to contain other SCPs Apalion which could end the world if not contained properly which takes a lot of effort and Archon which could be contained but are best left uncontained yeah, reality, it is difficult to contain, or there are. It is safer to not contain it than to contain it. Uh, yeah. And in order to contain all the anomalies, they have a vast array of resources, which includes countless. D-class personnel. Now, D-class personnel, we, we go through a personnel ranks. Class A are those who do not have any access to the anomalies, such as the A5 Council. Class B has access to a more safer uh, anomalies. Class C, uh, I guess they also they are a little bit more lenient on that one. Class D are the most famous one. They are used to experiment with the more dangerous anomalies to understand them. Typically drawn from people who have no choice but life imprisonment. But Class E is the only thing you can be worse. Those are the people who have already been exposed to an anomaly's adverse effects. Uh, there are several kinds of adverse effects from the anomaly. Some are physically dangerous, some are cognitive as they're dangerous for the uh, for you only if you recognise them. 
sorry, any of your senses, or info hazards, which are only dangerous if you know about. Sorry about that, I interrupt right there, because the SCP Foundation fought in our reality is one of the world's largest collaborative fiction projects, and also one of the world's most well known ones. Uh, what you were looking at was a wiki about all the different anomalies. The SCP Foundation, uh, in our reality at least, started back in 2007 uh, on 4chan and was moved to a wiki in 2009. Or oh, so I remember. These days aren't exactly uh, accurate, but yeah, that is that explained, of course. I'll be talking about all of the SCP objects, including mine, later on. Yes, I am a member of the SCP Foundation. As you see at the top end, there's in a very small print my very own logo and a name. And I'll be talking about mine object later as well. So, for now, I'll see you this Wednesday. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.